All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with my second rant before I call it a day. Hope you guys enjoy my uh, happy birthday ice tea video. Now we're going to talk about this album. We'll get right into it. February 16th, 1993. Tupac released his second album, Strictly For My Niggas. The album was originally going to be titled Troublesome 21. The fact that Pac was 21 at the time he was working on his album. And it was going to be released in September of 1992, but it was scrapped due to being rejected by Warner Brothers. Many of the tracks still remain unreleased while songs like Keep Your Head Up, I Get Around, Strictly For My Niggas, The Streets Are Death Row, and Soldier's Revenge were utilized for the new track listening. Strictly For My Niggas debuted at number 24 on the Billboard 200 and number 9 on the top, or number 4 on the top R&B slash hip hop albums chart and was certified platinum. With the four singles, Papa Song, Holla If You Hear Me, Keep Your Head Up and I Get Around. With guest appearances from Tupac's stepbrother, Mo Cream, Tresh from Naughty by Nature, Deadly Threat, David Hollister, Digital Underground, Ice Cube, and Birthday Boy Ice T. This was definitely a commercial success. From uh, his, his first album, Tupacalypse Now. Of course, 30 years later, this is still one of the best hip-hop albums to come out of the year 1993. We had a lot of hip-hop albums that came out that year, like Tupac, Strictly For My Niggas, Onyx, Back The Fuck Up. Run DMC, Down With The King, Ice-T, Home Invasion, Ice Cube, Lethal Ejection. What's the name of Queen Latifah's song that came out in 93? Black Rain. Uh, what other albums came out in 93? A Ball and MJG coming out hard. There's a bunch of classic hip hop albums that came out in 1993. Snoop's Doggy Style. It's a whole bunch of them. But this particular is one of my favorites of the year 1993. So I'm not going to make this video too long, but that wraps up my rant celebrating 30 years of Tupac strictly for my niggas. And before I go, I must say the first line of Tupac's song, Keep Your Head Up. Because Keep Your Head Up inspires me to keep my head up whenever I'm feeling down, whenever I feel like giving up. And every time I feel like giving up, I listen to that song. And it goes a little something like this. Some say the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. I said the dark of the flesh, and then the deep of the roots. I give my holler to my sister's own welfare. Tupac cares. If don't nobody else care. And uh. I know they like to beat you down a lot when they come around the block, brothers clown a lot. But please don't cry, dry your eyes, never let up. Forgive, but don't forget, girl, keep your head up. And if he tells you you ain't nothing, don't believe him. And if you can't learn to love you, you should leave him. Because sister, you don't need. And I ain't trying to gash up, I just call it how I see him. You know what makes me unhappy when brothers making babies and leave a young mother to be a pappy. And since we all came from our women, got our name from our women and our game from our women, I wonder why we take from our women, why we rape our women. Do we hate our women? I think it's time to kill for our women, time to heal our women, be real to our women. And if we don't, we'll have a race of babies that will hate the ladies that make the babies. And since a man can't make one, he has the right to tell a woman when and where to create one. So where the real G's get up, I know you fed up, ladies, but keep your head up. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Happy 30th anniversary to Tupac Strictly for My Niggas.
Catch you tomorrow for a less play of NBA Live 2003 or 2004, celebrating the 60th birthday of Michael Jordan.